Hi, my name is Dr. Laurie Russell. I'm a professor of biology here at St. Louis University, and I'm also the coordinator of undergraduate studies for the biology department. In this presentation, I'll be giving you an overview of our department and describing our undergraduate programs. I'll begin with an introduction to our department. Within our department, we have faculty members with a pretty broad diversity of research interests across a variety of different subdisciplines and specialties within biology. These specialties include molecular biology, cell biology, physiology, bioinformatics, ecology, and evolution, just to name a few. At the undergraduate level, we offer a Bachelor of Science degree, a Bachelor of Arts degree, and also a minor in biology that can be combined with a major in another program. At the graduate level, we offer a PhD, a Master of Science, and also a Master of Arts degree. We really pride ourselves within our department on a combination of both outstanding teaching and excellence in the classroom, as well as cutting edge research in a variety of different areas within biology. The biology department is located in McElwain Hall. This is where you'll find faculty offices, faculty research labs, teaching labs, and some of the classrooms where our students take courses. McElwain Hall was recently renovated and reopened in January 2019 with brand new facilities inside, including our classrooms and our teaching labs. In fall 2020, St. Louis University is scheduled to open the Interdisciplinary Science and Engineering Building. Our introductory biology laboratories, uh, in other words, the labs that our first year biology students take, will be taught within this brand new building. Uh, some of the chemistry labs will also be taught in that building. So our first year students will have an opportunity to take advantage of these brand new facilities and enjoy them. This building will also include a scale up classroom, which was intentionally designed for active learning and for student centered pedagogy in our lecture classes. In addition to these on-campus facilities, the department owns and operates the Reese Biological Station. This is a field station located near Steelville, Missouri, where we offer cer certain field courses and also an opportunity for students to conduct research while they're taking courses at the field station. For students who are majoring in biology, there are two different general degree choices that they have available, a Bachelor of Science and a Bachelor of Arts. Regardless of which of these pathways a student chooses, they have the opportunity to take any of the courses that we offer within the department, so long as they've met the appropriate prerequisites by completing some of the introductory level coursework. All of our students also have the opportunity, if they choose, to become involved in research in a faculty member's lab while they're an undergraduate. I'll begin with an overview of the Bachelor of Science in Biology. The Bachelor of Science focuses on a rigorous science curriculum with extensive upper division biology coursework. For the Bachelor of Science, students complete a minimum of 35 credit hours of upper division biology classes, which must include at least three laboratory courses at the upper division level. The Bachelor of Science also includes a senior inquiry project. As I'll tell you in a few minutes, there are several ways that students can choose to fulfill this requirement. For many, however, the choice is independent research in a faculty member's lab. The Bachelor of Science is strongly recommended for students who plan to go on to pursue a master's degree or a PhD in biology. It's also an excellent choice for students who are thinking about a career in medicine or other health related fields. Within the Bachelor of Science, there are five different concentrations that students can choose. These concentrations are all the same number of credit hours. In other words, they require the same amount of coursework. However, they differ in exactly what goes into those 35 credit hours of upper division classes that students take. 
There are five different concentrations that we have available. And uh, within those 35 credit hours, each of these has a specific set of requirements for what students need to take within those 35 hours. We'll begin with the concentration in biological sciences. This is a general biology concentration that provides students with a broad foundation in contemporary fields within biology. This particular concentration gives students a lot of flexibility in selecting their upper division biology electives. They still have 35 credit hours of electives, but within that 35 credit hours, there are very few courses that are absolutely required, so students have a lot of choices about which classes they choose to take. This concentration is excellent preparation for professional degree programs, including medical school, as well as for entry-level employment in biology. Next, this, the concentration in cell biology and physiology is a concentration that requires students to complete several courses that focus on the structure and function of organ systems and the tissues that comprise them. This is an excellent choice for students who are planning careers in health professions. For example, students who plan to attend medical school or veterinary school after they graduate. It's also a great choice for students who are interested in going on to pursue a career in research, either in an academic setting, uh, in uh, biomedical research, or in biotechnology. Many of our students who are interested in attending medical school after they graduate select this concentration, which emphasizes courses that really are directly relevant to the coursework that they'll complete later on when they get to medical school. So this is excellent preparation for that particular pathway. The concentration in biological chemistry and molecular biology focuses on lab experiences so that students come away with this with in-depth knowledge of biochemistry, molecular, and cell biology, as well as mastery of skills that are important for careers in biomedical research and in biotechnology. Again, this concentration is also an excellent choice for students who plan to go on to graduate programs in genetics, biochemistry, or related disciplines. The concentration in ecology, evolution, and conservation emphasizes coursework that deals with organismal biology, ecology, and also evolution. This is a really good choice for students who are interested in careers in research biology at local, state, or federal agencies, uh, at non-governmental agencies, at conservation departments, or at environmental agencies. Finally, the concentration in plant sciences emphasizes various aspects of plant biology, including evolution, pollination, ecology, genetics, and physiology. The concentration in plant science provides great preparation for careers in agricultural research, for research at botanical museums, or for graduate studies in plant biology. The Bachelor of Arts degree uh, involves a little bit less upper division biology coursework than the Bachelor of Science does. For the Bachelor of Arts, 25 credit hours of upper division biology coursework are required, compared to 35 hours for the Bachelor of Science. Within those 25 credit hours, Bachelor of Arts students must complete one advanced biology laboratory course. Again, compare this to the three lab courses that are required for the Bachelor of Science. The Bachelor of Arts uh, degree requires a little bit less biology, but it has a more extensive set of core classes that make up the arts and sciences core curriculum. This allows students to incorporate more humanities courses into their undergraduate degree. It also gives students a little bit more flexibility in scheduling than the Bachelor of Science does because there are fewer biology hours and fewer lab courses required. This makes it a little bit easier for students to work out their schedules if they plan to double major or to study abroad. The Race Biological Station is a department-owned and operated field station near Steelville, Missouri in the Ozark region of Missouri. 
We offer opportunities at the field station for students to take classes and to conduct independent research. Classes are offered every summer and are offered in the fall semester every two to three years, depending on faculty availability and student interest. Some of the courses that have been offered recently at the field station, either in the summer session or during the semester at the field station, include aquatic ecology, animal behavior, spring flora of the Ozarks, field botany, field mammalogy, and field ornithology. During the first year of studies as a biology major at St. Louis University, uh, you can expect to take a full year of both biology and chemistry courses. In the fall semester, students complete biology 1240 and 1245, principles of biology one with lab, and uh, general chemistry one with lab, chemistry 1110 and 1115 respectively. In the spring semester, students complete Biology 1260 and 1265, Principles of Biology 2 with lab, and also General Chemistry 2, Chem 1120, 1125. A biology degree requires two math courses, Calculus 1 and Elementary Statistics with Computers, Math 1510 and Math 1300, respectively. The statistics requirement can also be fulfilled by taking Biology 4790, Biometry, so that's another option to fulfill that requirement. Most students take at least one of these math courses uh, during their first year of studies. All of our biology students are encouraged to participate in undergraduate research if they are interested in doing so. Opportunities for research include research with a department faculty member, research with a faculty member at the St. Louis University School of Medicine, uh, research and internships at local institutions including the St. Louis Zoo, the Missouri Botanical Garden, and the Danforth Plant Science Center. Students can also earn academic credit for biology research and apply some of those credit hours toward their Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science degree biology electives. Many biology majors study abroad. For biology majors, the fall of the junior year tends to be the best semester to study abroad. This is because during the first two years, students are often taking classes that are prerequisites for other courses, and it's important for them to complete those prerequisite courses on time. Junior year is a good time to be away because senior year is often busy with uh, interviews for medical school, graduate school, or for jobs. Spring of the junior year can also be a busy time as students prepare to take the MCAT exam or the graduate record exam if they're interested in applying to medical or graduate school. It's also a time where they might be working on putting applications together for some of those processes. So fall of the junior year is usually a really nice time for biology majors to study abroad if they plan to do so. The most important thing to keep in mind if you're studying abroad is that it's really essential to plan your coursework in advance. Uh, students really need to be aware of what courses they need to take and when they're offered so that they can make plans accordingly. Quite frequently, students who are studying abroad use that semester to focus on their core classes and take courses in the humanities and other areas outside of the sciences. Um, those courses are all very relevant to their degree because they often fulfill core requirements, uh, but students need to make sure that they have a plan for how to fit in the rest of the coursework for their major. We have students study abroad and complete either the Bachelor of Arts or the Bachelor of Science successfully. It's a little bit easier for students to plan their schedule around that semester abroad if they're completing the Bachelor of Arts, um, simply because the BA provides a little more flexibility in terms of scheduling. So that's something to keep in mind as you make the choice between a Bachelor of Science and a Bachelor of Arts and plan for a semester abroad. We have a variety of academic support resources that are available for our biology students. These include professors' office hours, office hours uh, that are offered by teaching assistants, also review sessions offered by teaching assistants, 
Supplemental Instruction is a program sponsored by the Student Success Center, uh, and individual tutoring is also offered through the Student Success Center by appointment. So we have a huge network of resources that are in place to support our students, particularly during the first and second year as they're transitioning to college and taking some of the, the important introductory courses that are required for the major. The biology department participates in three different accelerated programs, which allows students to combine a bachelor's degree in biology with an advanced degree in another discipline. Uh, we participate in the accelerated bachelor's to master's in bioinformatics and computational biology program. This is a five-year program in which students earn first a bachelor's degree in biology or certain other fields. There are some options available. And then a master's degree in bioinformatics and computational biology. Typically, it would take six years to earn a bachelor's degree and then a master's degree afterwards. So this reduces the total time for the two degrees from six years to five. The biology department also participates in an, a, an accelerated program in chemical biology. Again, this is a five-year program, which would reduce the total time to get a bachelor's plus a master's degree from six years to five. Finally, we participate in an accelerated Bachelor of Science in Biology to Doctor of Pharmacy degree program in collaboration with the St. Louis College of Pharmacy. This is a seven-year program. Um, again, it reduces degree time by um, at least a year. If you're interested in these programs, please consult the St. Louis University catalog for more information. A biology major is excellent preparation for a variety of, of different postgraduate plans. A biology degree is terrific preparation for a Master of Science or a PhD program in biology, biomedical science, public health, and several other related disciplines. It's also outstanding preparation for a professional school like medical school, dental school, or veterinary school, for example. Some students complete their biology degree and they're not interested in going on to a graduate or professional school and instead are interested in getting a job. There are a variety of job opportunities available to biology majors. With a bachelor's degree, uh, you can work as a lab technician in a university, industry, or healthcare setting. It's uh, a also an appropriate degree for seeking employment at a conservation or environmental, agent, environmental science agency, either in the government or the private sector, or for uh, pursuing an education certificate and then entering the workforce in education at the K through 12 level. A biology degree is also strong preparation for employment at zoos, botanical gardens, and science museums. So there are a variety of different options available for students with a biology degree, whether they plan to go on for additional coursework or, uh, or whether they intend instead to get a job immediately after graduation. <laughs> 